Yep. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Dragon Quest XI. I'm streaming super early today because I have plans at night, and I just wanted to get some streaming in. Also, I'm on vacation, so that's why I could stream during the day. Woohoo! So, last time we left off. She says she's a skilled magic user from a place called Arbor- Whoops, uh, did I miss a screen? Whoops. Um, but yeah, I met a girl named Veronica. We're looking for our sister, Serena. Um, we're gonna save her. I leveled up to level 15. After last stream, I level grinded. Use the right to cool, 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 cool. So yeah, let's continue. Welcome back. I trust you have a peaceful respite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm done with all of my uh, side quests right now. I'm missing one though, and this is bothering me. Warrior outside the church in Heliodor and Foothills who seems to have some advice for you. Okay, well I can't go back there right now because I'm totally far away. So I gotta do that later. But it's good that they oh, that this is one thing I really appreciate about um Dragon Quest XI. When you start up the game again, they're like, here's the story so far, so you don't like forget everything that happened. Like, the quest catalog, they're like, hey, this is where you can find it. So it's not, like, totally missable. And, let's see, I don't feel like fighting anyone right now, so we're just gonna go. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Hope you had a good weekend! Okay, the ore is replenished. I can mine. Oh yeah, level grinding was so, like, awesome and fun because Veronica, for some reason, is not actually part of my party. I think I have to go to the cryptic. Yeah. Yeah, she's not actually part of my party, but enemies would target her and attack her. But because she's not an actual party member, I didn't have to worry about healing her. And she would do damage too, but she only, like... She attacked with her staff, and I'm guessing she's a magic user because... Her attacks only did three damage. And I'm just like, what the heck, man? Why aren't you using any magic? It really would have helped with, like, all the group monsters. I'm guessing she'll join as our official- Oh wait, I haven't fought you. I'm guessing she'll join as our uh, official party member uh, once we save her sister. Started my holiday vacation today. Time to relax and catch up on video games. Heck yeah! Same here, like, um, immediately in the weekend, I was just like, oh, let's catch up on Final Fantasy XIV. And I've just been grinding ever since. Ooh, should I save? No, I think I'm good. Except I need to go, um, grinding for higher level gear so that I can do the next trial for Final Fantasy XIV, so that's what I spent four hours doing last night. <gasps> potato! One day I will catch all of you potatoes. Okay, what's... nope, that's nothing. Da, 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 da. Yay, or... Okay, I know there's a red lock on it, but I just want to see what it is. Oh, it's a tower! The door is locked tight. Well, that sucks. But at least they marked it on the map. So I could come here later. I'm so excited for a vacation. I just, like, sleep in a lot. I love sleeping. And I've been meaning to catch up on some books I started reading, so hopefully I can do that. It would also be a good time to platinum older games that I didn't get platinum trophies for. But I think reading would be a better use of my time. Hi! Oh, I didn't hit him. Drac mages. I'm pepped. Nah. 
We're gonna use uh, Zap. I learned magic. Ooh, 92 experience. Nice. Okay. I'm just wondering if there's gonna be like an enemy encyclopedia at the end, and that's why I'm trying to fight every enemy at least once. That reminds me, I should catch up on my mangas too. Heck yeah! Let's do this! Ooh! Strong enough to take out that thing. <sighs> Who else I think I need some? to go back and read all of um, Boku no Hero Academia man manga in like one whole chunk, because as I'm reading it weekly, I'm like, wait, what happened last time? Wait, what's happening? Who is this? And so I'm like kind of thrown off the rhythm. And so I'm just like, yeah, I don't really. Jelly streams are like, hey, Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Okay. Yeah, I'm streaming early because um, I oh. I have something to do tonight. Kasap. I don't know what that did, but uh, uh, mud mannequin didn't go yet. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. No, her attack actually went up. She does 7 damage now. Early today. Hey, Ultimate, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, I hope you guys had good weekends. Yeah, I'm streaming early because I, I have something to do tonight. But um, I wanted to make sure I got a stream in today. Okay, there's a route. Okay, I'm guessing I could go upstairs here. So let's check out the upstairs first. Also, I started vacation, so that's why I can stream in the daytime. Oh, we're going down. Ooh. We're going down, down, but a minute, minute. Yeah, one day next week, I really want to... I kind of want to try to do, like, stream for as long as you possibly can. Although I know that will kill me. And I don't know if internet connection would be that good. That whole time, but I do kind of want to try it. But who knows if it will actually happen? I got an Yggdrasil leaf. Cool. Okay. The door is locked tight. What? Okay. Well, I guess I can't. Whoa! I never noticed. At the bottom right of the map, it shows what time of day it is. So you know the progress of time. That's interesting. Oh, this game. So many cool things, but also a lot of annoying, tedious things. Like every time you start up the game, the priest talks to you like, Oh, thank you for coming back. Or oh, continue your journey. And like everything you want to do at the church, you can't just do like quick selecting. You have to be like, Oh, what else would you like to do? Oh, this? Like, you want to heal poison? Okay, but it's only one member at a time. And I'm like, why? Why can't you just heal everyone at the same time? Ooh. Okay, so there's trick floors. Thank you. My TV blue today just goes black. Oh, no. That sucks. Is it a bulb repair thing you just have to do? Or can you repair the bulb? I see you're very busy with work this afternoon. So busy. Um, I don't remember where I fell from. Everyone who is working this week just slacking off pretending to work. <laughs> hey, Mug Kips, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Hope you had a good weekend. Mm, yeah, I want to go to this Yggdrasil route first. There better not be another trap floor. There's going to be another trap floor. Oh, no, there isn't. Nice. Okay. Free route. Touch Yggdrasil? Oh, yes. Give me all the memories. I'm working. <laughs> I thankfully have vacation, so I am free as a bird. Don't know, turns on shows RC brain brand name of TV, then black screen. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. I almost forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I forget my shadow if it wasn't so on. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What will the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way around. Well, I already fell into the trap. I'm guessing you're the next boss. Is 
So I got a fight with a shadow, but there, there's one speck of light here. I'm just going- Ooh, damn it! <laughs> I just wanted to see if the- Oh, now I'm on the other side of the door, though. Oh, -ho. This is what I totally wanted. Who is it? Me? Yeah, then Skull Rider first. <laughs> Uh, should I magic? Nah, let's just kill the Skull Rider. Shadow shows the correct path. <laughs> well, I did want to explore this area of the bottom floor anyway, so... It's good that I fell. Two chunks of gold ore, nice! I can make another gold ring. Why are you- <gasps> I can ride you! Wait, but there are zombies. Okay, let's kill the zombies first, and then I'll ride him. Okay. Ugh. Hey, I attacked you first. Why do you go first? Walking corpse. Kill him, Eric. <laughs> no! Good job, Veronica. You killed him. I know nothing about this game except that it has a best character who is noticeably different from the who rest else? of the cast. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that, but cool. Um, best character different from the rest. You talking about- I don't know all of the characters. Um, wait, I have my game cover right here. So, I, I clearly know the hero. I know Eric. That's Veronica. Uh, Jade, I know because she's a pretty girl. And then, I don't know the other two. I don't know the old man and this dude. So, yeah, I just started. I'm like in the very, very beginning. Nice! I lost the power of Pup! Hiya! Shut up for now, Lurk. <laughs> Wait, did you play through? Wait. No, you said you know nothing, Another but one. do you know the story of this? Or how do I write it? There we go. I'm guessing if I ride this, I can climb up walls or something. Wait, I got the treasure chest, right? Yeah, it was gold ore. And there's nothing in there. Nope, you don't see me. This is so cool. Oh yeah, I can climb up wall. Can you pick this up? No, no! Go down, go down, go down. Get off. I'll be right back. I need to pick this up. No, stop! I just want to pick up the shiny. Thank you. Just want the iron horn. Okay. Now we'll climb up this wall. Okay, um... I'll probably fall through other holes, but I just really want to explore every single area of this place, so... <laughs> Haven't touched any DQ game? Oh, okay. Oh, so that's why there's all these extra hallways. It's because you're gonna fall into... Okay, so those two hallways will also fall down into here. So I shouldn't go through them. Cool, 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 cool. Near the end of the game, I myself had 30 hours in demo farming levels. Oh man, now I wish I picked up the demo. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back. Go the long way around. Yes, yes. Now I should be safe. Ultima, how many hours have you played, excluding the uh, demo time? Okay, that is a stairway. Okay, now I have to go this way. <gasps> Treasure chest! Are you for real? Are you for real? <sighs> Quack. 
quack, 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 Go Ducks! Island! Hey Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I hope you had a good weekend. Let's use spells. Zap. How's things? Things are good. I started vacation, so I'm very happy. How are things for you? <gasps> no, I'm gonna have to dismount. No! But then how am I gonna find you again if I fall? Oh no! Uh oh, did I screw myself over? Well then how am I supposed to get- Oh! I'm supposed to go that way, that way. Okay, 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 okay. Now I know the way. Don't touch me. Oh, okay, spent all of today playing virtual hockey. Nice! I miss hockey. Like 160 hours possible majority of it just farming. Mm, makes sense, makes sense. I will also probably do farming and grinding and all that stuff. You, I don't think you're a trap. You can't, yeah, you can't be a trap. Oh, thank goodness, there's another shiny. I'm just going back down this way because there was a treasure chest. Unless the treasure chest is also a trap, then... Screw you, man. Wait, there's no treasure chest. Where's the chest done? Oh, was it a trap? Oh. Well, then screw you. I'll kill you so I can ride around on you. We got eight inches of snow last week, so we're still stuck. Oh! Damn. I'm, like, sad that I missed the snow, but also I'm happy that I don't have to deal with snow. Dealing with all the shoveling, salting, starting up your car earlier if you want to go somewhere. I don't miss it. Ah, oh, but it's fun to make um snow forts. Yay! Multiple enemies are defeated. Huh. I'm playing on hard mode where anything can kill you ASAP. Oh no. I am playing on normal. I am a baby. Um, are you a trap? Can I see change level? You're not a trap. Yes, treasure chest. I got a mini medal. I forgot what mini medals do, but they do a thing. I always say snow is very nice to look at, but pain in the yeah, it's a pain to deal with. You're not a trap. Like when it's falling and when it's fresh snow that no one touched, then it's like awesome. Uh, outside of that, it's uh, it's okay. You're not. Whoa! I want to move to a place where it snows. I've never seen authentic snow before. Really? It's nice to. I would say visit a place when it's snowing. You don't want to live there. Quite annoying. Silver platter? Whoa! Equipment bag? Can I? Is it a. S oh, okay, so charm. Four more charm, one less defense. I think that's good. Whatever charm does. And it's only taking away one point of defense, so I think it's worth it. From the desert. It's one Ooh. heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. If option can do knows for treasure tells you how many chests in the air. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, I'm a little to the right of my camera. Let me move my chair. There we go. Oh. Wait, over there. Over where? <laughs> Oh! Serena, wake up! It's me, oh. Veronica. I totally... She's our party member. Oh, so mm -hmm. they're sisters! That's your sister? I was like, oh, wait, that looks familiar. She looks like the Serena. girl from the opening movie. We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? 
Well, yeah, so Veronica totally so pull yourself together. accidentally got herself stuck in a child's body. <sighs> oh, I was just sleeping. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Oh, well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... And staying by the fountain is safe. Veronica! It, is that really you? So Serena's kind what of a dit, huh? What has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> Oh, yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... They're, they kind of remind me of um, Palam and Porum from Final Fantasy IV. <sighs> the magic twins. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? Yeah, she's your kid sister. How old are you, Veronica? <sighs> Well, if you want to get technical oh, about they are it, twins. actually we're twins. So they all like Palam and Porum. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. Tell me why. I want to know why. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. So if you get her... Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, oh. the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my age. <gasps> so will you get it? What I'm basically back? saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. Do you just have to relive okay, all of your life get again? It, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Holy crap. Don't you want to do something about will it? Will it get fixed by the end? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I mean, from I the to do my bit as well. from the cover, I have some really rather and the little character spells, walking you know? animations. I feel like she's gonna stay stuck as a kid for a long time. Do, 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 do. The party's HP and MP are completely restored. A strange voice echoes from afar. I want to save, please. Okay, so they're not actually still in my party still. Stay mounted. Let's go. Sent you something on Twitter. You might like it. Okay, let me check. <gasps> wow. See, that is pretty snow. Untouched. Un. Like. Mm, what's the word? Not dirty. Very clean. Oh. And now you gotta shovel all that off. <laughs> Fun times. My backyard is pure. Yeah, so pure. That's what I was looking for. Untainted. That's the word. Idrisel root. Yes. I'm not shuffling my backyard. I'm letting the sun melt it. But don't you want to just brush off the stairs at least? Oh, but I guess if you're not going into your backyard, you don't really have to do it. This is a great place to I farm materials from monsters and levels. Oh, you need a okay. To get through here. And it was. Uh, uh, it was. Open sesame. Umbra Kadumbra. Umbra Kadumbra. Either the sun is melting it or it's turning to ice, and I'm playing hockey in my backyard. Awesome. That was a fun thing to try to do when it like when it snowed a lot and then it was icy on the top to see how 
lightly you could step to like stay on top but most of the time like we just fall straight through anyway none shall pass without the secret word speak friend and enter what's the elvish word for friend Bell. Oh no, they're the Are lackeys. you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? What's so special about magic people? What are you trying to do? Ooh. <sighs> you knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadows' <laughs> respect. <laughs> He's saying when all he these came pot puns. All my plans shattered. Lord of Shadows. <sighs> the Lord of Shadows. That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought but me the here. the HP MP restore save point can just go all out and recover. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> See that jar by the big <laughs> fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers when into. When I was level grinding, I just... Then I, guess I just waited until I leveled back. up to restore my HP MP. <laughs> Yoink. Mm -hmm. Veronica. Huh? Oh, Smashy, I do love guests. <laughs> Especially when they bring me <laughs> presents. The if it isn't the one that got away, talk about it in the jackpot. Pot. Yeah. Just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot of earned a VIP <laughs> treatment. Earned. Get cracking! Looks like we <laughs> back on the menu, Looks boys. like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. <laughs> yeah, come at me. I'm so ready. Get him, boys! Okay. okay, there's only one way to fight. This fight is going to end with you giving me my magic back. Oh wow, they're still alive! Oh. If they didn't use her magic, why won't she Perhaps use magic? <laughs> No! And that didn't wake me up for real. That didn't wake what? Oh, whoops! I lost my pet power. Okay, so I don't have to worry about healing. They will heal me. Okay, uh, get rid of the shadows, please. Although he did send the breath. Freeze. Ouch. Uh, kill the shadows. is very anime. I can tell cool guys because he got cool trunk eyes. <laughs> evil shark guy has evil triangle eyes. <laughs> it's very DBZ style. Okay, now I will focus on Jarvis. Are you alright? Ha! His name is Jarvis. Ha 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 ha. After I get rid of the shadows, okay, now I'll switch him over to daggers. Actually, are you weak to fire? 
you're using frost breath. Here you are. Sleep has 50-50 on physical hits. Magic doesn't affect sleeping enemy. Oh, okay. It was this way. Poison Moth Knight, yeah. I forgot he has spells and abilities too. Um, I'm gonna try Sizz on you. 24. Okay, so not that much more damage than regular attacks do, so I'll save my MP. Although, what do you have? Hey, let's steal an item. Wow! You're carrying nothing! You suck! Oh, let's try Flame Slash though? 38, nice! Okay, that's what I'll use all my MP on. Thank you for finally healing me, Serena. I'll see if Eric gets oh, pets wonderful. too. Or he's dead. Cool. Veronica wins again. Wins again. <clears throat> I was like planning out more well, attacks and like, oh, this is what I should do. Right hand man. If I can't even beat the likes that? of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams. Shattered. Your puns are getting old. Think of some new ones, Who dude. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out. None of bosses have Soon items to steal. Oh, okay, good to know. Thank you. everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> now, skin him! Oh, whoop, he disappears. Never mind. Jarvis is we'll not an evil anime name. My enough, world huh? logic is shattered. <laughs> but he's Jarvis because he had all those jar and pot puns. <laughs> right. Time to get so my early? magic back. Early because I have something to do tonight and because I have vacation. So why not stream early? Also, hey, Artsy, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Hope you had a good weekend. Get your age back. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh. Oh. I hope this works. Get older. Nope, she's still tiny. She's gotta grow up again. Oh no. But, but you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> she got her magic back. No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. Then why do you still look like a little girl? Zing. Oh. You love this I'm girl. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used Jelly, to having twin forgotten. sister half forgotten my what? size. Wait, what did I do or By say? By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? You insulted her. Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Not terribly. Mm -hmm. She's she's just a little, little sassy squirt. <laughs> also, don't call the FBI. <laughs> Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. 
It's so conflicting Please, in these situations, right? Because she's actually a teenager, wrong. but she's in the body of a little child. You are a hero. It's like um, light what's her face eyes, from Fire Emblem? The light told of in the legends of Arboria. It proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. Yeah, like everyone seems to know who he is right off the bat. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of At least of she'll be young first. when she's 50. Yeah, it's like how old does she say she really is? is does she say like, hey, I'm actually 18 years old. It's just my body is like a seven-year-old. <sighs> it got hot. Oh, go away. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember right, at least you know she's the big sister. Yeah, like what about when they somewhere. get older and um, Serena passes away first? That's gonna be sad. Yay, Yggdrasil's chosen. Trophy, get. Before I go through the door, shinies, a chunk of iron ore. Really, I can't jump off that. It's like, I'm glad they let you jump to places, but then you can't jump everywhere. And just... Then what's the point? Can I break these jars? No. More purple goo. Jars! Useless. Oh, a grubby bandage. Ew. That sounds gross. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I push up on the direct on the D-pad, I go into photo mode. So that means outside on like on very pretty, like... <laughs> so, yeah, like, in very pretty locations, I could take photos. Oh my gosh. <gasps> By the way, Veronica will be the most useful member of your party. Veronica, not Jade? We never had this in the standard. Oh, really? Well, it's time to get the definitive version, huh? <laughs> Gosh, look at all these cells. What a Steam, horrid here place. I come. <laughs> oh. Hey, who's there? Oh, you're the dude. Don't worry, you're safe now. We took care of I that. I think I saw him before. Like he disappeared cronies. and someone was like, oh, where'd you go? Thanks. I owe Thanks. you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your oh, poor little dad. daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar Way to get yourself kidnapped, dude. He's a mature, what an irresponsible parent, am I right? Huh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Huh. Oh, look, I've taken up enough of your Do time. You know Eric? I should uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Thanks. <laughs> well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. Are there no other prisoners? You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. Yeah, why did he run rest? off by himself first? Like, we could have all gone together. We make our way out of the labyrinth and head back to Hoto, where they spend the night at the end. Then morning comes. How does he know where to go? Who knows? 
He's like, thanks, I'll make my way back. It's like, do you know how, how you even got here? Do you know where you are? <laughs> There's an important person to the left. Hello. Finally, you wake. Your comrades rose long ago at morning's first light. Now they wait below. They wait for you to join them as the trees as trees wait for spring. Where are we going next, pals? Up oh, and options brings up the menu for forged treasure searching well, and other stuff last, you haven't huh? unlocked yet besides voting Don't over worry. quick we all just instead of back searching. Too. Oh. I don't think they ever told me about photo mode. I just totally found it on accident, but I'm glad I did. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I Serena. and how we're going to help you. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the mark of light will rise to meet him make it glow i know it's hard to believe i mean look at you but it's true you're wow, the reincarnation so of the charming, luminary Veronica. the man who defeated the dark one long ago i still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the dark one was defeated to be honest but ours is not to reason why once we fulfill our sacred duty Isn't and get you to with two elves at the end? I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. No? Nope. Oh, okay. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, <laughs> Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. Just finished the demo version of the game. Noise. <laughs> They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. We're gonna have to go find a town that does. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. English is weird. Wait, Heck yeah, it is. I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information you know to shady. Uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the world tree? Wonderful. Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar. To the bar. To the baths. But the baths don't really do anything because they keep their shirts on. Boo. Uh, I don't have to talk to you, right? No. And they're still not part of my party? Nope. So I don't have to worry about getting equipment for them. Hello, sir. Come on, daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing me Gotta head out for Christmas shopping? Tired. Ooh, have fun, man. Thanks for drop dropping in. Have a good day. Uh, just uh, one more for the uh, road, sweetie. You never know. He wow. Uh, Dad of the year. Just I keeping his young child you. at a bar while he gets plastered. <laughs> Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? Well, you're gonna give us info for free since we busted you out of jail. What if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? How did you... how did you father a child? I don't child go trying now. to get mixed up in this stuff, it just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and their monsters, they kidnapped me. He 
mistakenly went in there. Sure. Oh, I stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have won up the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and... Tea well, doesn't make you I just hope she's all right. <laughs> I'm she right here. Kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? I need to check out the Miko Shrine Crikey. too. Crikey, you lot don't do things by halves, do ya? I haven't gone in there because I thought that might progress the story, but I haven't gone well, anywhere near there yet. Seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was traveling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left. No wooer, no Galapolis. We just about given up hope. But then these soldiers Wait, from so Galapolis came along. Duran. Next ha thing I know, I'm Galopolis, waking up in the Sultan's bleeding what? palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Where am I, the prince of? I don't remember. It starts with a D. Anyway, when I come to. That's when I seen it. I always visit the Beautiful lady side, not if it was a bad influence. Does anything bad happen if you visit the lady thing. side? Ooh, I kind of wanted to try it, but I was like, no, let's be a good Beautiful. person. Well, I know top end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely I really hate after this all. Japanese story trope where the <laughs> first male sidekick has to appear like an idiot. Right it's not funny. It's why do you always have to think like to oh, you're spat that marks the border than Galopolis. Why, why are you so I dumb? Why you think I'm my dumb idea? Like, along? Stop it. We of Arborea swear to protect really you. It's hidden While we live, none shall defeat you. Yay, they joined the party. Well, now I gotta get them good gear. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't skip this. I can't shorten it. You have to listen to the whole thing. Here, you'll need this to get to Galopolis. A map! Oh, the Galopolis Pass. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. Okay, but first things first. Gotta check out the ladies' bath. And give them better gear. Whoops. Um, equipment. You. Uh, auto equip auto. Oh my word! A whip, and she wears the baby boar. Oh my gosh. That is actually really cute. Auto equip. Ooh, lance. Oh wait, she could probably use lances and wands, okay. Okay, yeah, so wands for, um, magic. Ooh, I actually want to keep you with the staff for magic. Then we're gonna have to check out the armorer. And, uh, this dude. Hi. Okay. Oh, but you got nothing for the girls. Cool. Cool, awesome. Uh, but do you have armor for the girls? Okay, so... Oh! Uh, Serena can equip shields. Okay. Feathered cap. Leather dress. Okay, I will buy one. Yes. Who's gonna carry it? Equipment bag will carry it. I can give her my scale shield that I made so I don't have to buy one for her. And feathered cap... 
Okay, I guess I will buy one, yes. Equipment bag. Okay. And equipment. Auto clip. But what if I give you the wand? Can then you yes, and then you can equip that. Okay. So you girls will be more magic oriented. And I'll leave my guys to be more physical. Let's go into the ladies' bath. Stop! Okay, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I mean, now that I have girls in my party, it should be okay to go into the girl side. Wait, but how do I go into the girl side? Oh wait, if I go out this way, then... Well, bam <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just here for the... For the shinies. Hi, would you like to talk though? You have quite a nerve. You are as out of place here as cats in the sea. What happens if I walk back this way? Oh, they get mad. Are there hidden stuff in the shelves? Nope. I wanted to pick up more gear for my girls. Why are you coming out of that side? Eek! Intruder! Man! A bold, ugly cuckoo stands in the nest of doves! Does the sun enter the moon's serene kingdom? No! Be gone from here! Now! Awarded for exploring the great unknown. <laughs> Thanks! I got a vial of holy water, so it was worth it. And an achievement, so cool. Okay, now for reals. Let's go to the Miko Shrine. And... This way. Whee! But before I go, let's save. Let's save. This one. Really? I've been playing for nine hours now? No way. Nine hours. Well, like... I'd say about three hours of it was spent level grinding at least. Oh, I've just remembered something important. We have a long journey ahead of us, don't we, Joe Toast? Well, I happen to know a handy little spell that'll make life a lot easier for us. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Learn Zoom. What is Zoom? You can use the spell I just taught you to travel back to anywhere you've been before. It's quick as a flash. <gasps> yes. So if you want to come back to Hoto, for example, just cast Zoom, think of Hoto, and you'll be back here just like that. Right. Now you've got that little beauty in your bag of tricks. Let's go and find the Zigter Shell Branch, shall we? Galapolis is southwest of here. Come on. That is so useful. Gosh. Let's explore the Miko Shrine. Okay, and then southwest. Okay, so there, Galapagos region. I want to check out Mount Fuji first, though. Can I change who I'm control? I probably can't control. Cause like I want to run around as Eric. He's a good-looking boy. So what I could do is... Wait, how... No, we're gonna... We're all evenly spread. Huh? <laughs> Man, we were all evenly spread before I knew that. Okay. So... <laughs> Save it. Um... Okay, go away now. Hello? How do I...
Okay, so that's how it... But how do I, like, move it up and down? That's how I change the angle, but... What? Okay, never mind. I'll have to read up on camera controls later. But man, taking photos is so fun. Wow, it's dead here. Ooh, a monster? I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Oh, a bear. I kind of want to try it, though. Let's go. <gasps> Ursa Minor appears. Minor? Okay. And what is Ursa Major? <sighs> oh, no, they're not, they're not, ooh, ooh, tactics. Uh, listen to me. Woohoo. Cool. Oh, do you have stuff I can steal? Yoink! Fails to steal anything. Awesome. Oh, okay, they're not tough. I was scared because he was a big boy. Am I su Caldera upper area entry forbidden? Okay. So I don't think I could actually go here right now, so I'll leave. Wait, but then where was the Miko shrine? Oh, was it in Hoto? Whoops, I gotta go back to it. Wait, then, um, magic. Zoom! Hoto. I thought the Miko shrine was on the actual world map, but I think it's actually in the city of Hoto. So I just need three more parts. I wonder who I'll get in the desert. Maybe I'll get the old man. He seems like someone I would meet in a desert. Uh, yeah, okay, the Miko Shrine is in here. I just haven't gone up. Okay. I don't know why I didn't go up. <gasps> Wait, no, this would be a prettier place for a picture. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Let's take a picture, guys. Oh wait, they don't they don't follow me in the town map. Well that sucks. Well then I'll just take a picture by myself. Yes. Oh no wait, they do follow me. What? Okay, so the camera is just stuck in this one position. I will always be the center. Everyone cry. <laughs> okay, go away now. Um, let's wave. Go away. Okay, now we're done with photos. Um, what is here? There's gotta be something hidden here. Yes, there is! There's a shiny. A cotton top. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, explore the outside first to see if there's any more treasure chest or shinies and pots! Kill all the pots. Okay, only one that was useful. Boo. And that's nothing. So let's see if we could go inside the shrine. Oh wait, is there anything on here? Nope. What about other side? Treasure chest, heck yeah! And this is why you explore every single nook and cranny. Perfectionist pearls! I don't think I got any new recipes. Oh, but I can forge gold rings. I should do that for my girls. Oh! There's actual people in here. Nothing breakable. Hi, what are you? 
Viu is our hero, his life pleating but worthy, giving to save us. You may not enter. A mother's grief is private. The fox mourns her cub. Oh. Maybe this is a side quest thing? Hi, can I talk to you? My name is Miko, leader of this town's people, made another shrine. Our home is humble, a place of hot springs and steel. Little happens here. She is beautiful. She is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Damn. Think there's a chest behind the inn? I think I got that chest. Behind the inn. Let me double check. Because, uh, yeah, anything around the end, I think I explored fully. Nope. Get up there. Get up on the stairs. Get up onto those stairs. Don't run into the wall. Ah! Gosh darn. Why'd you have to fall off? I keep forgetting I could fall off cliffs and stuff. You need to be careful. Nope, I did not get it. Thanks for letting me know, Ultimate. <gasps> An introduction to armor! Suits of bronze armor. Okay, then we will do the fun size forge. Does it just level up anytime I try to use it? Oh no, when I level up in real life. Uh, let's see. Oh, it gives me more defense. Heck yeah. Yes, I want to make this. Uh, flourishes double-edged bash, please. Double-edged bash, please. Ooh. Okay, and then can I? Damn it! Damn it! Okay, never mind. Ah, uh, it's gonna be garbage. It's not good. It's, yep. Oh, it's a plus one at least. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, forge accessories. I would like to make rings. Defense five or more. Yes. Oh, gosh, Veronica needs it. She's a weakling. Okay. Bash, please. Okay. Nice. Finish. Perfection! Gold ring plus three, heck yeah. Da, 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 da. And now I don't have any more gold ore, so I can't make, um... Ooh, nice! I can't make one for Serena, but for you, at least you will get... That's defense, man. Defense and charm, yeah. She's gonna be so charming. Let's save. Cause I did think. Oh no 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 no! Let's not save. I didn't equip the bronze armor on me. Offensive, please. Yes. Now I will save. Oh, gotta remember to stretch and work out after this. Until you learn more four skills, hard to master fully plus three hundred percent of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like the um, lightning tap it really helps with like the finer delicate stuff, but bash is just like 
Herb derp, here I go. And you can't, like, help the temperature changes of the forge either, so I'm just like, eh. Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah. I reject this anime. Stop putting little girls in adorable pajamas. Please put trunks in a Kirby suit. <laughs> I wish I had outfits for, um, Eric. I want to see what kind of different costumes he has. I want to put good-looking boy in good-looking stuff. Or I just want to put him in, like, just straight-up swimsuits. I'm hoping that there are swimsuit costumes in this game. I really want the swimsuits. Okay, this is uncharted territory, so I will skim the edges for treasure chests and uh, what you call it, shiny spots. But it doesn't seem like there are any. Look at that! Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that water. Ugh. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. A shiny. A beast bone. Nice. And I see new enemies! Hello, rabbits. Goodbye, rabbits. Robber rabbits. As opposed to Roger Rabbits. Oops, um, let's get your boomerang on. Oh, boom. I think you'll be dead with just a couple. Whoa, poison! Why do they take. Or is it not poison? Why was there a purple number? Do I get goodness? Do I get damage too? No, I don't think we're damaged. Okay. I think that's it for this area. Let's go off to Galeador. You don't see me. Unless this rock is important. Yes, a shiny. Glass frit. What is frit? Hello, priest. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh dear, oh dear. I shall be too late, I fear. Are you playing this on PS or Switch? I am playing this on PlayStation for. If someone doesn't step in to save the day, ticking things time is well and truly up. Tick tock, the clock won't stop. It really is five minutes to midnight. If only there was someone who could come to our aid. Hold on a tick. You've clocked me, am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? Well, it's about time. I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. This can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety-boo, you're finally here, and not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a taco from over... from over Tickington Way, and we need your help. We're having a terrible time of it at the moment. Can I ask you to come and be the hero of the hour? Yes. Phew, thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew it wouldn't take you more than a moment's thought to approve. Uh, Jelly Toast, are you talking to yourself now? Has the song gone to your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking. Come on, it's time to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me! Oh, but wait, before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey and adventure log. Yes. Roger Rabbit have a rare item accessory for Eric Steel. Gosh darn! Okay, I'll, I'm gonna have to try to steal it later. When I grind. Because I could always teleport back to Hotto. But for now, story stuff for weeks. There we go, all done. Now let's make our way to Tickington, shall we? We'll be there in no time flat. Oh my gosh, I can finally talk to the potatoes. <laughs> 2D sprites. I love this. Oh my gosh. Hold on, what just happened? Things went all wavy and suddenly we're in this weird village. Oh look, he's so adorable, but who is he? Tick-tock, it looks like you clocked me too. You must be the Mr. Heroes here's friends. Welcome to Tickington, a place that's just a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally, only certain people, special people can see us taco types, but the second even ordinary folks that... But here... I can't read. 
But the second even ordinary folks set foot here in our home, they can see us too. Uh, I think we might need a little background here. Like, who are you? Where are we? Why the heck are we here? You know, just the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? The beginning? Yes, yes, of course. The beginning. Tickety-boo. Allow me to be explained. We are the Tuckles, and we live here in the village of Tickington. It's a very peculiar place, where time flows a little differently from the way it does in Erdia. It's our sworn duty to make sure that time flows as it should, that past, present, and future are all in the right order, and that all is unfolding as intended. In other words, we make sure everything's tickety-boo. Ah, uh, hang on a tick. I need to tell you the mayor you're here. Why don't we let him explain the rest? Just head up the stairs, and you'll find him in a very special place we call the Echo Chamber. So come on, shake a leg. The clock's ticking, and there's no time like the present. Have fun there. Oh. No, I want the pot. Oh, I love this! Ickles told me all about you. You're the luminary, aren't you? Welcome to Tickington. You mustn't waste time talking to me, though. The mayor wants to speak to you. You'll probably find him upstairs in the echo chamber. Oh, I love this! Give me Chrono Trigger in Dragon Quest XI style, please. Oh, and this is a church? Give me Chrono Trigger, Dragon Quest XI style. Let's make it a thing, guys. Come on. Twelve gold coins! Oh, interesting. I wonder if the sprite changes with the clothes. Oh! Maybe? Okay, let's... <gasps> Even the menu changed? Oh my gosh! Let's see... Yeah, it changes! Yeah, see? Now Veronica's out of the boar, and then I'll equip her with the boar again. And there she goes! What? I love this! Oh my gosh, and like this 2D sprite thing, it really looks like Super Nintendo days. Oh my gosh, I love- I need Chrono Trigger, Dragon Quest XI style, now. Maybe I should at Square Enix whenever I tweet about it. Just like, hey guys, do it! Oh, um, Chron Chrono Trigger in this style needs to be a thing. It has to. I'm not talking to anyone though. Oh yeah, I broke you and nothing happened. Tick tock, look who I've got. It's the luminary and not a moment too soon. Ah, oh, what marvelous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My name's Stickle and I am the mayor of this fine place beyond space and time. Now, the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a secret mission, and that is why we have sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that on the altars around us. In these sacred volumes are inscribed the tales of hollowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Since time immemorial, the duty of my people has been to guard these books and to ensure that the great deeds of the past live on in the present. That is why we created the place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, a sacred space where the adventure logs of all the hallowed heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time. Or so we had thought. But this holy haven has been sullied by an unknown miscreant who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books and liberally daub others with ink. I am afraid I have no idea who committed this heinous crime, but what I do know is that as things stand, the heroic happenings of the past risk being lost forever. History itself hangs in the balance. Which is where you come in. As the hero of your own age, I must ask you to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into each of these volumes and set time on the right path once more. But before you dive in, you must first learn the sacred incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock. The past words. Haha, <laughs> past words. Sadly, these were long since scattered across Eredrea. That being so, I have entrusted my most dependable tackles with the momentous task of seeking them out. Should you find one of my friends here in the course of your travels, stop a moment and speak with them. With luck, they will have learned the words that will enable you to journey through the pages of the ages. When you have learned one, you will be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known to space and time. 
Now, if I'm not becoming confused in my old age, young Ickle managed to find a password just the other day. Come, my little TikTok tyke, share what you have learned with our friend. Yes, sir. Talk tick. Let's make this quick. Now, prick up your ears because I'll say this only once. Ickle tells me the password he's found. He can now visit Gallenholm via the Altar of Origins. Why not strike while time's on your side and take a closer look at that altar over there? A whole new world of adventure awaits. Come on, there's no time like the present. Oh, so the one that's lit. Okay. The words Altar of Origins are etched into the stone of mind. The altar allows you to visit worlds from old adventure logs. Which world would you like to visit? Gallenholm. Would you like to visit Gallenholm? Oh, okay. So within these book, each book, there's like multiple worlds. Okay, okay. So... Are we going into, like, actual older Dragon Quest worlds? Random encounters! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I love this. This is just a dilapidated old city. Oh my gosh, I forgot random encounters. A fromage fray. Four experience, wow. Prithee, hear my tale, wanderer. Thou hast wended thy way to the one-time dwelling place of the legendary bard Galen, from whom our town taketh its name. Alas, thou hast arrived at an unhappy juncture. A foul monster hath the effrontery to violate the tomb of our most famous son, and hath purloined his most precious possession, the lyre of ire. <laughs> know that this storied instrument is no mere dusty relic. Nay, it is a powerful artifact indeed, and can cause monsters to flock towards whom whomsoever giveth its fabled strings the merest brush. The thief knew this only too well, and did strum upon it until this peaceful place was overrun with hideous beasts, and the townsfolk had all fled in fear of their lives. Tis surely the end of poor Gallenholm. That is, unless a hero can be convinced to seek out and vanquish the fiend that dared deprive us of our most hollow treasures. Couldst thou be that hero? I will undertake this quest. Truly, thou art gallant indeed. The culprit skulketh yet somewhere in the town. Prithee, flush the rogue out and smite them with all thy might. Oh, and keep thy wits about thee, friend. Tis off the case that the path thou seekest lieth veiled in darkness. Verily, the shadows can yield many a surprise, and many a monster also. Tis certain that without a good deal of care, thou wilt surely perish at the hands of the creatures that prowl the town. May the spirits watch over thee. But, 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 but thou musteth. <laughs> Couldst thou, prithee? <laughs> Oh, I didn't see I could choose the enemy after five of- what? Oh! Whenever they attack, their MP gets restored? The magic girls? The magic sisters? Ow. Okay, so I need to find a path. Wow! A rarefied fromage flay? I mean, you can attack all. I don't know what the rarefied one means, but I'll kill it. Oh, you missed, Eric? What? Oh, I forgot. Magic girls don't have great physical. Ow, oh, Veronica, 19 points of damage. Okay, attack the rarefied, you attack everyone, uh, you will... Uh... Frizz, and you will squelch cure, single ally of the effects of poison, raises the defense, envelops a group of enemies and illusions. I don't know what that means, so you'll just attack. Oh wait! You have a spear right now. I don't need, um, I mean, a lance. 
I don't need your magic right now, so I'll just have you do physical attack. Unless he dies right now. Nope, he's still alive. Wow, he's a tough cookie. Wait, nine points of damage? Even though I switched you to a spear? Then I'm gonna switch you back to a wand. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it's just like the same amount of damage that she does. Is this the bad guy that I'm supposed to fight or is just this just like a really rare creature? Two hundred sixty-one experience. Woo! Okay. Can I sleep at the frack? Wow! Even Veronica can kill slimes in one hit now. Good job. I want to sleep if I could sleep on the beds. Come on! I just want to sleep on the beds! Uh... Wow, the encounter rate for the 2D, at least this place, is so high. It sucks because it's random encounters too. It's not like I could dodge the enemies like I do on the 3D map. Okay, I can't sleep at the end. Oh wait! I think I'm supposed to go in there! Huh, I'm not supposed to be out here. Whoopsies! Wait, so then... Oh wait, where were the other potatoes that I found? One was definitely in Heliodor Castle. One was by the Heliodor downtown. And there was one in the Mangle Grove. And I think that was it. I think that was all the potatoes. What this little herb? 20 gold coins. Lamp lights. Anything in here? Crack! How you liking the encounter rate of DQ? One could use- Oh, I can use holy water! Yo, I might. Cause I don't like this encounter rate. It's too many enemies. I mean, I am killing them quickly, though, so... Not too bad. If this is what battle is like in 2D mode, I think I'm gonna stick playing with, uh, 3D mode. Cause I don't like seeing, like, how... little HP they have. Like, I can't tell... how much full HP Veronica has. Oh, hi. Wait, but... Ah, frack! Yeah, because when it's 3D mode, I can see their total HP, MP amount. And this just shows me how much they currently have. What? Who missed? Okay, I'm gonna use the holy water. Um, item bag. Holy water. So we are really in another world, huh? One minute- wait, why am I talking with Eric? Damn it! I used the holy water just to see if there was treasure chest down there, but no. It's just this dude. Gwahaha! <laughs> this liar of ire is hard to beat. I can just keep drumming up new fans. Eh, is that a human? You've come to hear me play, right? What are you banging on about? You want me to give the liar back after all the trouble I went through to snare it? Fat chance of that! This thing is great! I'm a bit of a misfit among my bongo-banging brethren, you see. My rhythm's all over the place and I can't sing for toffee. All I've ever wanted is an audience that appreciates something a bit different. Now all I have to do is strum the lyre and a whole bunch of alternative music bands show up to kick it with me. I've never had so much fun. So if you're going to try and make me give it back, I'm going to have to beat you black and blue. Drum roll, please! <laughs> Holy protection and luminary tree is free holy water. Ah. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm gonna... I have been doing, um, Rongo Bongo instead of Drongo Bongo. I have been, um, starting to go in the Luminary route for... When's the last time I leveled up? Do I have any skill points? But yeah, I have been going into the Luminary Tree. I haven't touched anything in Great Swords for myself. Strings, the Lyre of Ire. A She's Lime shows up. A Droll shows up. Attack everyone. You keep focusing on Rongo Bongo. And I guess you can just keep attacking Rongo Bongo too. Eric should be able to take him out with the boomerang. Or not. Cool. Oh, she slime, please. Cool. Haha, <laughs> I'm not affected by your stupid. Decelerate. Rongo, Rongo, attack everyone. Oops. Veronica spells. Attack. Oh, he's dead. Nice. They're both dead. Ye nothing, man. The monster who stole the lie of Ire is no more. Go and give the old man who asked you to get it back the good news. But what's down here? It's dark and deathly silent up ahead. It doesn't seem like a good idea to go any further. Okay. If you say so. Hi. Uh, I hand over the Lyre of Ire. Praise be! The Lyre is returned to us, and the townspeople who fled can return home once more. Words alone cannot adequately express my gratitude, but perhaps this can! I got a gold bracer! It must now be laid to rest again beside he who once eked such sweet music from its strings. Yea, tis thanks to thee that those of generations that might to come might seek out our greatest treasure should ere their need arise. Posterity will thank thee, friend. Quest cleared! <gasps> People! I have heard tell that the greatest hero of our realm hath lately sallied forth from the great castle of Tantigel. Might he pay our humble town a visit, perhaps? My heart soareth at the very thought of our being graced by his presence. Yo, let me sleep. Yo, in. The effect of holy water wears off. Good morrow, noble wanderer and savior of our town. I bid thee welcome to my humble establishment. Let me sleep. Fine, don't! I bid thee welcome to Gallenholm, one time dwelling place of the legendary bard. Oh, what joy it is to utter that greeting once more. I had feared I might never be able again to. I might never again be granted the opportunity. I can't read. Seekest thou perhaps new weapons or armor? Prithee, grant me such time as it might take to ascertain whether my stock has been ruthlessly plundered by the foul fiends that descended upon us. Okay, so I can't get things from here, so I'll just leave. But that's so cool, so every time I come to Potato Land, I could go into 2D mode. Ah, so you have returned, and what tales do you have to regale me with this time, hmm? Tell the mayor of Tickington everything hap that happened during his adventures in the past. Goodness me, Gallenholm was besieged by monsters, you say? Hmm, perhaps these are merely the musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that the vandal who defeated our beloved books may be attempting to rewrite history itself. But as long as you are able to visit each of the heroic ages and right the wrongs that have been wrought there, the proper flow of time will be restored soon enough. In which case, you'll need to continue to seek out and speak with the Tuckles who are traveling the length and breadth of Erdra in search of passwords. The more of them you learn, the more ancient ages you'll be able to visit. If anyone can find them all and put things right, it's you! It's time for you to shine, dear hero. As Tuckles, our sacred mission has always been to ensure that the great deeds of the past remain intact for the sake of the future. But we need your help. Please, history itself hangs in the balance. You got it. So how many books are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Okay. Are there any bright red... Anything behind a waterfall? No, but it's so cool that they have a waterfall. I love this. This is so beautiful and... Oh, and the background is just like... Oh. It looks like outer space. Oh, this is... 
This is so great. I love this. What are you, red one? Tuckles have been dispatched to every corner of Erdrea in search of password. Should you clock one on your travels, be sure to say hello! Yeah, but what do you do? What are you guarding? Maybe if I finish all the books, I'll be able to go in there. Okay, well, peace out! Didn't I see a... a potato... somewhere near here? I'm gonna have to look through my old videos and be... and find where I- <gasps> He has a bow tie! Welcome back, Luminary. I heard you took a moment to listen to the mayor's request for assistance. Thank you and good luck! I'm Tickle, Ickle's uncle. Come and talk to me when you decide the time is right for a trip to Tickington. Oh wait a second, the mayor had something he wanted me to pass on. I'd get a proper ticking off if I forget. Tick tock, tick tock, bring back the past, turn back the clock! I remember the locations of Tuckles. Oh, they already tell me the locations. Oh, they're so kind. Press triangle and select passwords from the info menu to get hints on where to find the Tuckles you're looking for. Once you track down a Taco, have them teach you their password. It's as simple as that. I'm sure you'll have a fine time with it. Good luck. Uh. Where? Huh? They said triangle. Huh? Heal all handy heal character builder. Wait, let me see if the girls have any. Press square and you can choose the spells, abilities, and stat boosts you'd like to learn from a nice little list rather than selecting each panel individually. When you finish ticking what you want, hit confirm to acquire everything in one go. But bear in mind that secret panels will need to be unlocked by opening up the ones around the first. You can unlearn anything you don't need and reallocate skill points to something more useful by visiting a church. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Heavy wands, whips, vim. Skills and stat boosts for serious sorcerers that offer incomparable protection from incoming enchantments. Like, what is this? Magical might plus 10. Hypno whip. I don't think I'm really gonna be giving her whips. MP absorption when wielding. Increased MP absorb when attacking with heavy wands. Ooh, nice. But this increases my maximum MP. Spooky aura. Weakens an enemy's resistance to all offensive spells. Ice and Wind Resistance, Sager's Breath, Gradual Stores of Users MP. Mm. Keep your eyes open for those guys standing around. The Tuckles? I think I'll do this. It's three? Heck yeah. It might be good to focus more on one thing, but. Eh. Paralyzing the bargain, nice. Serena, Wand, Spears, Harpistry. Harpistry? Hymn of Fire. Forms of Fire that protects all from fire based attacks. Hymn of Ice. Maximum MP. Increases magical mending. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to learn all of these uh, spells eventually. Cattle Prod. A spear strike that can deal heavy damage to beast family monsters. MP absorption when wielding, increases magical mending when wielding wands. Ooh. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that makes 13. Um. Let's see. Let's go this right, harpistry first. Eight and eight. Never mind. We're going this too. What well, if you get more MP absorption? And I don't think the guy. Oh wait, Eric might have enough. Uh, metallic or metal-bodied foes. That would be useful. Accuracy when wielding that would also be useful. Um, but I kind of want to do guile for him too. Dodge chance plus two. Deafness plus ten. Uh, flame slash. Swords would also be useful. Attack power when wielding. But these are knives. Oh, Eric, you have too much. I kind of want the metal one, though. Okay. Toomerang. A brutal pack with a pair of boomerangs that can deal damage to all enemies. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, I think that's it for now. Oh, no, wait. Where's the, um... How do I find all... Happy snapping, oh, mini metals, um, 
no. Wait! Out in the field. Time change, climbs change. No, how do I do the tackle things? I mean, the tickles. Do I just have to talk to you? No, 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 I don't want to. He said press triangle and you'll be able to see blah, blah, blah. What? Those for treasure quest catalog. Uh, whatever. I'll go back later and find it. Right now, I just want to move on to the story. Halt! None may pass without um, a pass! Should have guard your pass, yes. Hmm, very well. Everything seems to be in order. Through you go! That's what I thought. Maybe after stream or like off screen, I'll go back and find all the tickles. Tuckles? Yeah, I'll find all of them, get their passwords, past words, but not go in yet to uh, do all of the books. Now I really gotta keep my eyes peeled for potatoes. Are you an enemy? Or are you just a. No, oh, you're just a cactus. So, from what I've gathered, potatoes tend to like being in the edges of stuff. Why do I keep calling them potatoes even though I know what they are now? But they do look like. Li they. Do they have stuffed animals of the tickles? Pickles? Tuckles? They're very cute. Okay. I haven't fought you yet, so let's fight one of you. Ew! They're disgusting. Yoink! Oh my gosh, Eric, you're bad at stealing. Oops, sizz, man. There's two of them. He's not dead? What? Wonderful. Yes. Nice. Eric leveled up. That means I'm gonna level up soon. Um, wow, this is huge. Laguna di Gondolia. Well, I want to explore this whole map before I move. Now, should I move on with the story? Let's see. Yeah, let's move on with the story. I can always explore the map on my own time. Yeah, off stream time will be level grinding and map exploring and tackle potato finding. Stream time will be try to progress the story as much as I can. Cause who wants to see me just fighting enemies all the time? Nobody. I really hope I get another party member here. I'm really hoping for Jade. Oh, whoa! But yeah, I'm really hoping for Jade, but I'm thinking it's gonna be the old man. I don't know the names of the last two guys. I'm sorry, I'm mean. Oh, just look at all these people! How marvelous! Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? It's the mm. Millennial Fair! Yes, oh, please, remake course. Chrono Trigger Dragon Quest XI style. Galopolis is the kingdom of the Desert Knight, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. Ooh, are we gonna go horse racing? I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival! Are we going to compete? <laughs> well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here. In case uh, did you forgot. play the remake of Seiken Densetsu 3? Seiken Densetsu? Why does that sound so familiar? I played Sweet Coden 3. Is that what Sweet Coden is in Japanese? 
Secret- Oh, Secret of Mana 3. I have never played a Secret of Mana game. I've been wanting to play Secret of Mana, though. Is it good? Because, yeah, when I was younger, I played Breath of Fire 2 or 4. But then I was looking into Secret of Mana and, um, Vagabond. Maybe. Ooh, maybe go horse racing. <laughs> Oh, let Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. <laughs> and she was like, oh, you're so stupid. You don't know what you're doing. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know how to have fun. What do you want from me, Veronica? Okay, there is a quest man. Okay, I'm not going to talk to you yet. I'm going to get the quest person first. Quest! Oh, good day to you. I assume you're here to sample Galopolis's world-renowned cactus cutlet. If so, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. The kitchen is currently closed while I dedicate my energies to improving the recipe. I'm certain that a golden globule will intensify the flavor tenfold, but acquiring such an ingredient is easier said than done. The golden globes, the cacti who carry them, are extremely vicious. Ah, but they would pose no problem for young and no doubt vigorous individuals such as yourself, I am sure. Perhaps you could assist me. Would you be willing to hunt down a golden globe in order to acquire the golden globule I require in order to perfect my cutlets? Ooh, I got a trickster thing. Cool. Yeah, sure. You will oh praise the sand. I can assure you that you are about to play a crucial role in culinary history. The golden globes that drop the golden globule that I require are curious beasts. They appear very occasionally alongside their cacti ball brethren in combat out in the desert surrounding Galopolis. They are not the most common of creatures, I confess, but if you were to engage enough cacti balls in battle, you will be sure to encounter one eventually. I only require a single golden globule. That will be more than enough for culinary experiments I wish to perform. I pray that it will not take you too long to find one and deliver it to me. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's gonna have to be a uh, off-screen grinding. Because it sounds like a rare encounter. Okay, now I will talk to you. I could spend all day trawling through the stalls. There's rarities and bargains galore. What's that? Have I come across some kind of special branch? Mm, now that you mention it, I do remember hearing about some valuable branch or other that the Sultan owns. Maybe you should ask him about it. He lives in the big palace up at the top of the stairs in the middle of the city. Cool. Let's check out weapons. <laughs> weapons and armor. What can I do for you? What do you need? Rapier, cast iron claymore, poison moth knife, cruise ring, posy pole, fairy staff. Ooh, fairy staff. Mm, battle whip. Us. Uh, iron lance. Mm, I'll get just the fairy staff. Yes. The equipment bag will be carrying it. Wait, I have more than one accessory? What? Excuse me? I just saw... Oh, wait, because I just got the golden bracer. Yes. There we go. Um... Wait, then what's the bracer for? Gold bracer. Defense and charm up. Yo, get rid of Gemma's charm! Even though I hope Gemma's okay. Defensive. Defensive. No, not the lance. Oop, no, 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 no. Scale shield. I have no other fishnet stockings. Okay. I'll give her that. Hey Kay, how you doing? Thanks for joining! I hope you had a good weekend. How are you doing? Uh, so Square came out with two remakes this year, FF7 and SD3. FF7 was interesting because it was a reimagining of sorts. SD3 was actually a very faithful remake of the original that I enjoyed quite a bit. Same story, but the battle system was reimagined into an active battle system. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna look Secret of Mana 3. Okay. Trials of Mana. Weekend was pretty chill, lots of cleaning. How was your weekend? My weekend was... What'd I do? I slept a lot. And then I just binged watched Downton Abbey again. <laughs> I love that series. But yeah, I had a good weekend. And now I'm having a good vacation. 
Yeah, after I end stream today, I'm gonna start reading uh, my book. Where should I go? Health for the Sultan's Palace. Okay, but there's a circus. Mm. Sounds like relaxing weekend. Heck yeah. I, I just love being able to sleep all the time now. What book are you reading? Um, well, I started a lot of books. Um, but the one that I'm planning to finish first is called Sunshine. My friend lent it to me, and so I'm like, ooh, I should finish it now so that I could give it back to her. And then after I finish Sunshine, I need to finish reading, um, what's it called? Fire and Blood, the George R.R. R. Martin book about all the history of the Targaryens. I got halfway through it and I stopped reading it. How much longer must I wait? Why must the sands torture me so? Ha, ah, good day to you. You are perhaps wondering why I am standing here, yes? The truth is, I am a painter, and I am waiting for a scene worthy of being immortalized by my hand. I have already envisaged the sort of image I would like to paint. A mighty, magnificent conflict unfolding in a desert. Alas, the sands have yet to oblige me. There is something missing. But what could it be? The setting is perfect, and there are plenty of spitfires. Ah, oh, but of course, conflict! Cataclysmic, chaotic conflict in the form of a magnificent move such as a wild side! Wait, perhaps you could assist me. Venture out into the celestial sands and slay a spitfire by unleashing your wild side. That will provide me with a tableau truly worthy of my talents. Surely you will not refuse a struggling artist in this hour of need? Oh, wild side pep, okay. I gotta remember that. Wonderful. A thousand thank yous. Yours is the kind of attitude that can inspire a masterpiece, I am sure. Now, before you venture out into the sands, I feel I should be remind you that wild side can only be performed by three very specific people. That should give you an idea of its power and its beauty. If you want to know who exactly needs to be pepped up in order to perform it, simply select attributes from the menu and press X to find out more about your pep powers. Now get out there and show me the beauty of battle. I will ensure that you are immortalized on canvas. Yeah, but other books I was reading, I started reading Anna Karenina, and oh my gosh, it is a monster to get through because of all the Russian names. All the different consonants together, I'm just like, wait, what, who, where? <laughs> Let's see, attributes... They tell me to do things and they're like, pet power, cool, and I'm like, I don't see what? Oh, here. Okay, so wild side. It's Eric, me, and Serena. Enables Eric to make two moves per turn and gives his attributes one heck of a boost to boot. Okay, well, I do have all three of them in my party, so cool. Wild side, Pep, Eric, MC, and Serena together. Oh, yeah. Just found that out, but thank you, Ultimate. Ew, I got horse manure. Gross. Okay, but that quest I will also deal with, um... Whoops! No, I'm not going to racetrack. I'm supposed to head up to the Sultan's Palace. Yeah, that quest I will also deal with when I am um, level grinding after stream. Or off stream, rather. I'm waiting to uh, see the circus last because I feel like it'll be the most fun. There might be potatoes! There are cats. Welcome to Galopolis! If it is a sultan you seek, you will find him in the throne room atop the great staircase. I know I'm on the search for potatoes, but look, pots. Yes. more pots. And barrels! Yes. Avid Itemologist, awarded for collecting a hundred different types of items. Whoa! I already got a lot. I know I said no exploring, but what are these rooms? 
Ooh, this is a very pretty bedroom. Wow. Complete with a pot and treasure chest and a book. Ooh. Hitting the jackpot here. Pair of concrete earrings. Hey, Serena or Veronica. Let's see, what do concrete earrings do? Uh, defense and charm. Heck yeah, Veronica, because she's just a weak baby. <gasps> More fishnet stockings! And a pair of boxer shirts! Okay, there's what appears to be a diary here. It has Princess Farris's Prince Farris's progress written on the cover. Day 21, my beloved prince attended his horse riding lessons once more today. To see him training day in and day out to be the greatest leader he can be for the noble knights of Galapagos fields may hold for the magnificent future. He will no doubt usher in for our realm. Day 24, my beloved prince left the palace today and went out to the streets to speak with the common people. He seeks to study the lifestyles of his subjects firsthand. What a wise and benevolent young man he is. I have no doubt he will make a great sultan one day. Okay. Cool. A prince that really wants to get his know people. That's awesome. Oh, so I stumbled upon the prince and princess's bedchamber. Whoopsies! And I stole his boxer shorts and her fishnet stockings. Awesome. Sleeping hibiscus. Is there a treasure chest here? Yes! Iron broadsword. Cool. Ancient book here, the banding is almost completely worn, though to make out the words Ye Drun Stain, Secrets of Ye Flame on the faded dead bird cover. He tries to read a page or two, but something tells him he's not quite ready yet. I'm not quite ready. Ooh. Feathered cap, why did I buy one? Book called The Power of Positivity, a Ruler's Handbook, Jelly Toast takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. We have all heard what they say, should one wish to be a great leader, one must be positive at all times, and it is true. Who wants to follow a mobile indecisive man anywhere? Nobody that is who, so to forget all those negative thoughts and think positive. Life light on your back, gaze about the big blue sky, and feel your troubles melt away like the petty insignificant irritations they are. Say goodbye to the old you, the negative you, there is a bright and positive future waiting for you, so step right up and take it. Cool. Now let's see the Sultan. Wait. Oh, shoot. I was gonna see if there were potatoes. <clears throat> this place, my fellow Galapolitans, this is race. <clears throat> fellow Galapolitans, that's this why they're is called no Galapolitans. They have horse master. racing. They this gallop. This race marks uh -huh. the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such. No, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. You gotta talk to each other, or what? Then give me the pledge. And yeah. next word Excuse is me. his bond, his kingdom, his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong. Um, Unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ha. Huh. Mm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are I worthy of their cool. adulation. Only because of Final Fantasy V, Sparrows. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor them. He seems like a cool kid. Oh. Who are you guys? You won't beat me in the horse race tomorrow. <coughs> what is your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? 
Delitos introduces himself and explains that he's come to Galopolis in search of a mysterious branch. Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would rainbow. Such a That's description. pretty clever. They're really clever with coming up with like good names. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. Oh, I thought he was gonna be like a stuck-up dude, but maybe not. But something seems shady. Something's gotta go wrong. It's like, haha, if you can beat me in the horse race tomorrow, I'll give it to you. Or like, we're gonna get thrown into jail again. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. I feel so pessimistic. I'm always expecting the worst. Like, what wrong can they do me now? What am I gonna have to get myself out of? Like, I was so suspicious of Dirk, um... Uh... Eric's friend. But Dirk turned out to be a normal good guy. Hi. A thousand pardons, but His Excellency, the most exalted sultan, is rather preoccupied with preparations for the Sand National at the moment. Hmm? Prince Faris's chambers. Simply turn left at the foot of the Great Staircase, but please, you must not disturb him at this important time. But he asked me to... Okay, there's nothing up here, so... What up? I stole stuff from your room. Ah, you came. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect. I am gonna you have, have to go horse racing for you. One who knows horses. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. I don't want to go horse racing. My father racing. isn't likely I to give it like away horses. freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> what is it? But the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Uh, oh, okay. Ah, the noise of so the circus. So I guess circus I'm just going will... to the circus anyway. I was waiting to say that for last, but. Will you join me there? Cool. If you want me to go to the circus, I will. And it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Please. So I have to wait for night time? Or can I just go? I should save. Um... Actually, it's been about two hours now, so... Before I start the circus... Yeah. Or should it- no, I want to see the circus now. Let's go to the circus. And after that, I will stop. Give me the circus! Oh, did I crack this pot? I don't think I did. I did not, because I found an herb! Hehehe. <laughs> okay, circus was this way. What is this? Circus returns, and this year with a special guest performance from the great Silvando. You won't want to miss it, so race down and buy your tickets before they sell out. The Ringmaster. Uh... Wait, it has to be nighttime? But it's just. Uh... What if I go to the inn and sleep until nighttime? Will that work? And then on campfires, you can set a time when you want to wake up. I want to rest a while. How long would you wait until dusk? Yes. Awesome. Can't change time at the end? Yeah. I want to see the circus. Wait, where is he? Does it have to be nighttime? You fracking. 
Fine, I'll change it to night. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna change it to night. Uh, rest a while. All night. Okay. Okay, now he's here. Good. You came. Excellent. The noise at the circus will allow us to speak us without allow us to speak without being overheard. Shall we go inside? Yes. Good. The circus has already started. We should enter without further delay. Wait, I want to see the show. Ooh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. He looks the like Dirk. wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Oops, I have to push a button. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Sylvando! <gasps> He's gonna be my next party member. Oh, so oh uh, yeah, yeah. He was I guess he was in a circus when we first saw him in the opening movie. What is he wearing around his neck though? <laughs> oh, the cotton balls are part of his costume. <laughs> Pretty boy? Is he really? I think Eric looks a lot prettier. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. Just spit fire in the general direction. After though. all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> that was it for his act? Come on, do more things. <clears throat> Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. Come on, do more than now, juggle. As you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny terrible problem. I am problem. mad. Do more tricks. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. Why haven't you? What? You grew up around horses, though. You know what a big tradition it is. Why have you never sat on a horse? I have so far been able to hide this... Uh, unfortunate fact but if i were to take part in the race the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered and yet i have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the sun national on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable unthinkable huh. Huh? so you see your coming here was fated it is a sign the forces of I guess destiny we do have need me eyes. to use you as my double Ta -da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also. For you see, the royal family I haven't always ridden races a horse in full ever since armor. the beginning of the Lest game. Though, think can of I occurred. His face will be hidden horse? from view. Oh, please, please. I beg of you. You must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. What have you been doing place. your entire life? 
that made you avoid you horses. Are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever people, seen. But it's so if you fun. Think we're gonna help I want to go horseback your riding people, again. You've got another thing coming. I don't blame him. But it's so fun. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Veronica's so Call sassy. Me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? Sure. <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. Daddy, these people wanted to steal the rainbow. Throw them in jail, please. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on oh, my shoot, way. Oh shoot, does that leave me no Farewell, time for level grinding? Friends. If I go rest at the inn. <laughs> oh no. I wanted to do quest stuff, like finding Ooh. the golden globule and... Uh-oh, something's gonna happen. Dentos and company spend the night in the rooms. Prince Farris arranged for them. Then morning comes. Grindy toast. Heck yeah, I love level grinding. Although people don't find it fun to watch. Good morning, I hear you spent the evening at the circus. Was it not the most wonderful spectacle? And today is the day of the Sand National. So much to enjoy. The streets outside are full of life. Pardon, you wish to find the royal dressing room? Why, it is the grandest room in the stables, of course. There are two to the west of the paddock. Enjoy the race. Okay, yeah, so I guess I'm not allowed to go outside. I have to do story stuff. So I'm gonna go to the church and I'm going to save. I love grinding. Ha 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 ha. I love level grinding. There we go. Oh, and there's still so many rooms of the city I need to explore. But I will do all that another time. It is time to save. So yeah, um... Next time I play... Uh... Tomorrow... Um... I will do horse racing stuff and see if I can get Silvando in my party. And yeah, no level grinding today because I gotta do story stuff. Oh well. That's all good. The pep quest one need to do the horse race stuff first to unlock the path to monster. Nice! Okay, so maybe it's good that I, I don't grind right now. Otherwise I would have wasted a lot of time. Thanks for letting me know. But yeah, tomorrow I'll continue with the story. And yeah, we'll see how I get my next party member who is obviously Silvando. But that's it for me today. My throat is starting to hurt and I'm, I kind of want to take a nap before I read. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good evening, everyone. Have a good day, night, whatever. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.